Hello and welcome to the Dundas Dashboard tutorial series. In this video, KPIs versus data sets, I'll be talking about the logical structures that data can be placed into and when and where to use them. So in an earlier video, I talked to you about the Dundas Dashboard workflow and the four steps that you follow when you create dashboards. In the third step, you're creating KPIs and data sets. And as a quick refresher, a KPI is a specific data construct with one metric, numeric column, spread across multiple dimensions. Whereas a data set is simply data grouped in a tabular structure. Now each of these has a specific purpose within our platform. In terms of content, a KPI is a very specific key performance indicator, sales over time, or calls by region by subject, as an example. Whereas a data set is just more generic data grouped together, so transaction records, or a list, or a scorecard composed of multiple metrics, so they differ in content. This influences their structure. A KPI within Dundas is a single numeric metric column, which is then paired with optional contextual metric columns, which are targets, and dimension columns, which are filters or axes, etc. So we're looking at one metric with a possible target and multiple axes or splitters. Whereas a data set is simply a group, it's any number of columns of any type. So you see even in structure they differ quite a bit. In terms of their targets on a dashboard, so these are general rules, these aren't hard and fast, but generally a KPI will be constructed when you're looking to build a graph or a gauge or an indicator or something of that nature, something uh, with maybe one or two dimensions and some additional filters. Whereas a data set is going to be used on things like a data grid, an Excel-like visualization, or it's a great choice if you're going to be looking to visualize data on a map. So here's an example dashboard. This is part of the Synatica sample that's included with your installation of Dundas dashboard. This is the support dashboard. So these three gauges up top and the line and bar chart down at the bottom of the screen, these are constructed with KPIs. In fact, there's three KPIs on each of the gauges. There's one for each of the needle pointers on each gauge, so nine total. And there's two KPIs being used on the graph, one for the bar and one for the line series there's our 11 total KPIs. The data grid on the left-hand side of the screen is being populated with a data set. So that's an example of, of where you would use one of the two constructs, KPIs or data sets. So if I switch to my development environment here, you can see that I have that same dashboard opened for editing. On the left-hand side here in my uh, sidebar, you can see I've got it open so that I can see all of the KPI that are used on this dashboard and the data set for the data grid here. And what's interesting is we're not actually using nine different KPIs to show each of these needle pointers. We're using one KPI nine times with different filters on it. And you learn all about this in a later section of this tutorial series about data visualization. For more information about the topics I've covered in this video or anything relating to the Dundas training program, you can email us at training at dundas.com. For technical inquiries or to look up specific terms that I've used in this video, you can visit our support site at support.dundas.com. Thank you.